Hi, my name is Adam Radford. I'm a Distinguished Systems Engineer at Cisco and I'm going to do a demonstration of APKM plug and play with wireless access points. The demonstration today is with uh, shipping code, so APKM version 1.02 which has been shipping for a little while. Um, we're going to be using EROS 8.2 which has just come out um, and in this particular example a new access point or an access point that I'm going to reset to factory defaults is going to use the plug and play protocol to get a configuration file downloaded to it that's going to contain things like the access point group, um, the primary wireless LAN controller IP and name. Uh, note that I could have a primary, secondary and tertiary here and also the access point mode. In this particular example the access point is going to be local but it could be flex or other deployment modes. Um, based on that information the wireless LAN access point is then going to communicate to the controller and uh, associate and connect to that wireless LAN controller. Before I get started I'm just going to um, go in and write a race or get rid of the, uh, the current firmware so I'm going to go back to a, a boot image um, so essentially I'm going to delete the main uh, image on the access point and clear out all of the configuration. So just get rid of all of that current working image, it's going to take a little while, um, erase non-volatile RAM and then reload and while I'm doing that that access point is going to reboot. So now I'm going to go across to uh, the APKM controller and this is the plug and play application on APKM. I go into a project um, on the controller and I'm going to use the AA test project. Um, I've covered off projects and rules before and essentially what a project is is a collection of rules and those rules apply to devices. So in this particular case you can see an earlier um, access point that I've configured and for this particular example I'm going to give my access point a name um, Office. Uh, the product ID is actually the same as the one I used in the other example and the serial number I'm going to get from my presentation here that will be the serial number that I need to use. So that's all I need to do to add the device um, and then the other thing that I need to do is to pick a config file which I have created earlier and that configuration file has pretty much the same information that I showed you in the presentation. So I'm now going to refresh that and you can see that I now have a rule that is pending for this particular access point um, with the serial number. Um, it's going to get a name at an AP office, that's how I assign the name to it and essentially what you're going to see is as that access point boots up you're going to see it go through the plug and play process, um, communicate to the controller and then based on the information that it gets from the controller it's going to uh, connect to the wireless LAN controller. So the, the APIC controller, the APIC plug and play application is going to be responsible for providing that configuration. So you can see the access point coming up, it's um, getting an IP address via DHCP. That has an option 43 which will have um, the uh, IP address of the plug and play server on APKM which is 10.10.10.140 um, You'll notice that um, there's a communication there, the system clock gets uh, modified, um, there'll be a certificate downloaded and there will be um, the plug and play process will kick off. So you can see that right now it's getting information about the device and you can see that it's moved into the provision state. You can see that it is now communicating to the controller, it's now downloading its version of code from the controller. At this point the uh, plug and play application is no longer part of the communication. All of the communication now is occurring directly between the access point and the controller as if um, the controller, uh, the access point had the right uh, information about the controller, the mode that it needed to boot up in and the access point group that it needed to become a member. So you can see that it's downloaded the appropriate version of code here 
um, rebooted and it's now on its way back up. You can see that it's got um, the name Adam AP Office. It's got an IP address again. Realizes that it doesn't need to do plug and play because it's already completed the process. Um, communicating with the um, wireless LAN controller 10.10.10.147 um, successfully created a um, attached to that, joined that particular controller and if I was to log into this show capwap RCB you'll notice that um, it is in fact being renamed appropriately it's loading the da downloaded the latest version of code and it's connected to the wireless LAN controller 2504 with the IP address 10101047. So that's up and, and running now. So that concludes the demonstration. Um, what you've seen is you've seen how we can use APKEM to essentially provide a, a bootstrap for a wireless LAN access point, giving it the group, the wireless LAN controller in AP mode. And that will then uh, allow that access point to connect to the controller or controllers because we can have multiple um, wireless LAN controllers in this configuration file and be set up onto the network. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this useful.